Hello and welcome back to the course on machine learning. I hope you enjoyed the previous tutorials and today we're going to talk about the different types of kernel functions. So the final thing that you need to know about the kernel SVM is that the radial basis function, which is also called the Gaussian uh, function, is not the only kernel function that is used in this method. Um, so let's have a look at a couple. So here we've got the Gaussian or the RBF kernel, which we've already spoken about. Then there's also a popular uh, choice, which is a sigmoid kernel. And that's a formula on the right. It's uh, in a bit of a different notation, but the essence is the same, is that you still select a uh, landmark and then, um, then from there, depending on the distance of the landmark, uh, different uh, results will occur. But in this case, as you can see, this um, kernel function is directional. So anything, um, even like just looking at it in this uh, two-dimensional space is just a projection. You can see that anything to the right will uh, be automatically right away, uh, will have a high value. So it will be included in your classification. Anything to the left will be excluded. So sometimes you might require these situations. So maybe if you look at a two-dimensional space, just imagine those points that we had, uh, points on, on one side are not in your classification, on the other side are you in your classification, you want to um, somehow uh, outline that decision boundary um, or uh, highlight that uh, points past a certain point are, should be in your classification, then a sigmoid kernel is a popular choice. Also, we've got uh, polynomial kernels, which are also popular, uh, one of the more popular choices. And uh, here you can have like a uh, polynom uh, which dictates how your kernel behaves. And uh, again, you can go into more detail on that. So this tutorial is not for us to uh, discuss the specifics of each one of these uh, kernels, but just to uh, show you that they exist and uh, help you be aware of the different types. And so these are the most popular choices, the Gaussian, RBF, sigmoid, and polynomial. And uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to actually go and have a look at them in three dimensions. I found a really cool website where we can have a look at that and we'll go and check it out now. So um, what I need is, here it is. And so if you go to this website, which is mlkernels.readthedocs.io slash en slash latest slash kernel functions.html, you'll see some wonderful pictures here. So if you scroll down, you'll be able to find some very interesting different types of kernels in a three-dimensional space. So you would need to read more about uh, the way they design them and you know how the formulas work. So they're a bit different to what we discussed, but nevertheless, the uh, kernel, this gives you a good um, overview of the kernel functions that exist and uh, that, you know, sometimes are used. Probably uh, f the ones, the three that we highlighted would be more than enough for most uh, scenarios that you might come across. But it's always always good to know that other types of kernels also exist and they are available to you. So there's a the sigmoid kernel, which we talked about as well. So hopefully that's uh, going to be a good overview for you as well. And uh, I'm going to wrap up this tutorial on that note. Hope you enjoyed uh, learning about the kernel SVM and I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, happy analyzing.